Hello everyone, it's Mr. Watley and Grogu again. Um, we have loved seeing the wonderful work you've been producing, so thank you for sending us that to us. Um, and please do keep sending us what you've been doing every day. Um, today's writing, you'll notice, I know the pictures are a little bit small, um, but you should see that it's a beach scene. I think they're play, um, Playmobil people um, on the beach. So feel free to use your imagination. You could write about what you can see, or you can write about um, a time when you went to the beach, or write about what you want to do when you can go to the beach again. Um, all of all of those sorts of things that are, are just ideas of what you can write about. But it's um, it's around a beach theme today. Um, please try and keep your writing nice and neat. Try and keep your writing small now. Now that we're heading and getting closer and closer to year two, you need to keep your writing small. So all of the small letters should be roughly the same height. All of the tall letters should be roughly the same height. Um, and they should be coming half, when the small letters come halfway between the two lines. So if this is one line, this is another line, your small letters shouldn't really be coming anywhere um, above the halfway mark. Okay, see how you get on. Um, also, don't forget to use capital letters to start your sentences and for any names that you use. Every name needs a capital letter, don't forget that. And then when you finish telling us something, you use a full stop and then you can tell us something else as well. You can add a new sentence, of course, starting with a capital letter. Uh, your maths today is the page that starts with writing the number five. Again, please try and keep this as neat as possible. Don't rush through it. The idea is you're practicing writing the number five and that you're practicing writing the number five as a word. So please, please, please keep it really, really neat and make sure they're facing the right way. There are a few people who had their numbers facing behind them last week. They were facing backwards. They were running in the wrong direction. So please make sure that they're facing in the right direction. Use the one there that's, um, an, as an example. There's one there that's, um, that shows you what to do. So yeah, use that. Um, before you start the other activity, um, I'd like you to have a go at counting in multiples of five. And what you can do for this, and this is where Grogu can't do it because he's only got three fingers on each hand. So he can't do this. So he's just going to sit and listen. What I'd like you to do is to get your fingers like this and every time you say a multiple of five, you're going to put your hand like this. So you'll go zero, no fingers, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and see how high you can go. Now, when we were doing this last week with twos, some of you went all the way up to a hundred, counting in multiples of two, which is amazing. And one or two people even went over a hundred, which is fantastic as well. So have a go, five, ten, 15, 20, and just see how you get on. Remember, if you get stuck, remember how far you got and then learn the next one. So if you get up to 35 and then you think, oh, I don't know what comes next. Remember you got to 35, stop, have a think about what, what's next. Maybe ask an adult, what comes after 35 if I'm counting in fives? Oh, it's 40. And then go again. And this time when you go 25, 30, 35, 40, and you'll remember it and you'll have learned something else. OK, um, and then you're moving on to the, the page where you're counting the objects there. Now, they are already arranged in multiples of five. So once you practice counting your five with your fingers, it should be a lot easier for you to go five, 10, 15, 20 and work out how many is there. Um, obviously, in maths, we're all about trying to find the best solution to a problem. We want to get the easiest way. We're kind of taking the shortcuts through in maths. That's, that's what the best mathematicians do. The way they get the answer quickly is by taking the shortcuts. Um, so if they're in multiples of five, it's probably quicker to count them in fives. You can count them one at a time, one, two, three, but that'll take you much longer and it's not the most efficient way. So try and count them in fives if you can and write down uh, next to them how many are there, okay? Um, I will be sending the afternoon's activity in a different video. Um, it's quite a fun one. I've already done it. So keep an eye out for that video um, and I'll be explaining what that one is. Any work that you do today um, on Monday is coming to me. So please use my email address and I'll put that in the tweet. Um, send it to me. I look forward to seeing that and I'll hopefully try and reply as much as I can. Um, and then tomorrow, which is Tuesday and Wednesday, you'll also be sending it to me as well. OK, Thursday and Friday, it's somebody different. Wonderful. Well, I hope that you get on really well. You have a great day. Um, I look forward to seeing what you get up to. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.